Hello everyone and welcome back to Feralo Realty episode 17 of our project building a house in El Salvador virtually. Um, so it's just going to be me uh, this time around. Lynn is actually away at this point. So no biggie. We'll get her uh, on the next one. Okay, so let's start. Um, last time we left you with pretty much, I think, the uh, floors being installed, the tile flooring and whole house. Okay, so this time we're starting with the bodega or the shed. Okay, uh, the builder uh, is basically showing us that work is uh, ongoing. Okay, it's taking a, a little bit of time, but it's getting there. Okay, so the next thing we want to show you here is, and this is going to be the one shared bathroom. Uh, the tile work is also uh, ha has also been started, as you can see. We did pick the tile uh, that goes with it, uh, and it's looking well. I mean, it's looking pretty good uh, so far for what we can see, and what we can see is basically what you are seeing as well, <laughs> because everything is done uh, via video feed uh, from the builder daily so here you go so this is one of the bathrooms the shower stall um, which it's gonna look nice uh, basically is the whole uh, the same tile is gonna go all the way uh, bottom bottom to right to the top uh, same tile um, you can also see the uh, the niche that what's cut out of there so that's it's gonna look pretty good the rest of the house as you can see, uh, it's uh, still ongoing. Um, oh, with it, <laughs> the TV is on. So we managed to get the cable company uh, to come by and install uh, services. So we do have um, what we call satellite uh, TV uh, installed. Uh, we have two boxes uh, installed. So this is the thing about you know uh, doing this in El Salvador because remember there is a concrete structure. You need to install. You need to tell the builder how many um, basically uh, boxes or outlets you uh, want to have in the house because it's not like in Canada where you can just bring in uh, the the outlet uh, for the cable TV, satellite TV, whatever. And all you got to do is just make a hole in the uh, drywall and, you know, feed the, uh, the cables in. Can't do that in El Salvador because it is a concrete. So you need to tell them uh, ahead of time in the, in the planning uh, that you are going to have a, you know, um, a cable TV in each room or, or the areas where you're thinking of having it. So the company came in, installed the dish uh, you saw it there uh, just previously. Okay, and we are good to go. It's a good thing because at the very least, you know, even with the workers and the guys who stay there uh, throughout the week, it gives them uh, a little bit of entertainment, you know, uh, after work. Uh, you know, so that's good. Uh, as long as they don't have a TV going on and watching the TV instead of actually doing the work during the day, which we, we're, you know, pretty sure that's not what happens. Okay, so we're back in the shed. You can see the uh, finishes that they're uh, uh, doing uh, at this point in time. It's looking nice. It's coming along. Uh, it won't take long. Um, it, it, to me, it, you know, it's just taking a little bit long for this one little building. Um, however, it is understandable because there are so many other things that are, that are also ongoing um, uh, around the, uh, the entire, you know, building site, right? So there you go. Uh, this is the one thing that the builder wants to do. This is his own design uh, around the at the bottom of uh, each window. You can see them right there. That's what he does. Looks pretty good so far. I mean, looks very nice. Okay, so now we're going back inside the house to the principal bathroom. Okay, same thing. They're working on the tile. You know, it's an on, you know an ongoing process here, but it's looking fine. Now the tiler uh it's is one of the uh one of the workers there in, in fact i think and i'm pretty sure the builder uh has given that job to his nephew 
so he used to have two of his nephews working at this site. However, one of them uh, decided to leave and then the youngest one stays. So he is doing this and he's just started doing it. Uh, I, I, I do believe that this is his first job. Now, risky business, uh, giving a job like this to someone with absolutely no experience. But you know what? It is El Salvador. We are doing this virtually. We do want to help out the, the local um, contractors like Don Vicente, who is the builder. Okay. And um, so, hey, if there is a time to get some experience, make some mistakes, you know, and learn from them, well, this is the time. We're giving them that opportunity. Okay, so we're outside now. This is Wilson, the man in the red, okay? He's the welder. He is doing, building every single metal work, whatever it is that we're going to have around the house, in the house, he's doing it. Okay, and you can see his you can see his um, his tools. That all he has is a welder, you know, a few clamps. Sometimes I don't even think he uses his he uses his um, goggles, safety goggles, welding goggles. Uh, but anyway, that's you know that's that's what they do it over there. Uh, but he does a really good job. They they really do. Um, and I think once he's done with all of the you know the the front fencing thing uh it i think it's gonna look really well uh yet again we're back in the shed okay it's taking shape okay you can see the uh piping is in the outlets are in and they're just still they, they they're only uh working on what uh, the concrete uh, uh fixtures i guess uh inside uh, okay and they're taking their time and you know what the thing is uh, as long as the end product is satisfying i think it's it's going to be good i think it's great take your time uh you know do it well and um, we'll all be happy now i need to apologize uh, um, uh regarding in this particular segment of the video because uh, the builder is man he's going all over the place it's kind of give me getting me a little dizzy here as I'm trying to narrate and 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 watch what's going on here okay but that's that's the builder don't be thinking you know and then that's how he does it and we just appreciate the communication that we have with him okay so that's that's a house that you saw right there that's obviously the, the neighbor's uh, property it's a prefab i think i did explain that in in my previous video okay it was built in less than three months uh the thing with that is they're already having problems with it okay especially with the first rains and things like that but anyhow that's uh, another story okay we're on the terrace uh, far corner of the terrace okay here you go the front of the house that's going to be the porch is taking place i do believe that the windows are being installed as we speak meaning you know as uh, when he was sending me this uh, these uh, video feeds um, he was also uh, explaining to me that the window guy was on his way and 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 trying to get all the windows installed down below the workers um, basically working on what's going to be the septic irrigation bed yes we will have one of those okay alongside with a secondary um, filter box uh, separate from the actual septic okay going to an, another filter box and then onto the irrigation bed okay all right um, this seems to be one of the uh, end of the day uh, videos yep the Don Vicente the builder sends me so here is the guys getting ready leaving going back home um, for the day okay in fact this actually this is this would be a saturday afternoon okay they're usually done around two o'clock in the afternoon on saturdays and they go home you can see that see this this is a uh, firewood so whatever they can get from the property to take back home to their homes and, and mostly this is for the builder himself 
then he takes it, you know, and we are fine with that, whatever we can help with, you know, and at the same time, they're helping us as well by slowly, slowly cleaning up uh, the rest of the property where there's, you know, there's not going to be any building around. And so they clean it up, they take the firewood and take it home, take advantage of it. Okay. Um, he's exp in, this, in this part, he's explaining to me that the all of the uh, all of the um, uh, energy cables okay all the lines have been installed okay and um, the thing about this is uh, uh, as well although this is going to be a little bit easier than than working on uh, the rest of the house because of the concrete so the ceiling it's pretty much going to be the same way as what we have here in Canada. Well, pretty close, okay? Um, so, what you're seeing right there uh, on the other side, basically on top of the uh, the beams, uh, is basically a roll of uh, this one type of material. Um, not really sure how to explain this one, but it is about, a, uh, about an inch thick. It's like a foam type uh, material. Okay, which um, is going to act as an insulator, okay? Uh, and that's in between the metal tin roof, okay, and the beams. And so that will help with the noise factor because at that height, uh, with obviously with, uh, you know, uh, a tin roof, when it rains, if you have absolutely nothing to absorb the uh, the, the noise of the impact of, of, of the uh, the rain, it would be crazy. So we decided to do that. Okay, so let's talk about the kitchen a bit here. We have a few seconds. Okay, so this is the work of this uh, young gentleman that we've met okay, online and he provided us with his idea well not his idea according to our planning more or less on how he plans on building the kitchen cabinetry okay so here you go and this is according to plans okay now we are going to change our uh, some things like those two cabinets up top on the wall we're going to change that but the remainder as you can see the the counter the bottom uh, cabinetry and everything it's pretty much uh, accurate okay to you know more or less the the, the, the numbers the, the ideas that we send them so that's the island okay uh, it's going to be a fair size island okay which we're gonna be pretty happy there you go that's pretty close to what we have in mind okay um, right so we're outside now this part is the where the front gate it's going to be okay this is the frame of the front gate right here and uh, the there is there's another uh, video segment up coming up uh, where you're going to see exactly what they're doing up top here this is a fairly robust structure okay never mind the uh, the two columns that are that are on the sides on each side of the, of the gate okay um, but even the top uh, we weren't really sure exactly how they were planning on doing that one part of the front gate however um, once we once he sent us uh, the, the video showing us what was going on and how were how they were going about building this part of the gate it was okay that's it's it's different okay but it works so here it is this is the uh, the front fence the columns that are going to be in place or oh, that are they are in place already uh, we just need uh, the um, the metal fencing which uh, mr. Wilson is working on okay and here you go all the electric electrical cabling is in place which is great okay so you know all in all it's it's it is coming along nicely okay there you go um 
that tin shed that you see uh, in the background, uh, that's where you know four or five of the workers stay during the weekend. The ones that who do stay there. Actually, not on the weekend. Correct. Correction. During the weekday, that's where that's where they they sleep. Okay. So here you go. There is the fencing, all ready to be um, installed. Okay. And then later on, you know, sand it, paint it, or sort of prime and paint it. You know. So there you go. There is the door. Okay. Not door. Basically, uh, the cover which is going to be placed right on top of the water cistern tank right there see so the frame has been built okay everything is looking good everything has been installed so you know all the uh, the piping you know the electricity you know um, everything is in place we're now just waiting for the bodega or the shed to finish so that we can actually bring in you know the pressure tank the pump and all that good stuff okay now this is another um a video schematic that the young man who is working on the uh, kitchen cabinetry sent us um this is his um his uh idea on what we could install around the porch okay uh, regarding safety you know like um, like a rail or something like the handrail or something like that right we basically told him you know that we what we wanted to use is wood uh, as much wood as we can although it would have to be a very hardy hardy uh, type of wood so it can withstand the the elements so this is what he sent us okay looks pretty good I, I must say you know he's he's got the right idea except we don't really want those posts the wooden posts that close uh, to the house or on the porch we have a different idea okay so let's go back to the uh, front gate we are right on top okay remember that top part that they were working on in, in the previous uh, video segment well here you go so <laughs> there you go there is the rebar Okay, and now they're just gonna fill it right up, basically creating a, 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 a massive column, okay, right on top of the gate. So there it is, there's the gentleman, um, and you can appreciate pretty much uh, how high this, this, uh, in this gate, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, okay, and you can also appreciate you know how the house is coming along uh, from this uh, point of view okay so that's one of the bedrooms you can see on the right hand side with the bathroom okay in between and then following on the left with another bedroom and its respective window facing the front of the house okay there you go okay this is a, a massive change from you know a few videos back um, and then slowly, slowly, right? It's coming along. All of this part right, right here that what you see where the shed is, the, that tin shed and this bush, well, that has to be, it has to be taken out because the front fence is going to run right along that. You know, that's the, uh, that's the property boundary. So we need to get right to the corner. There you go. Um, we have now, uh, this is the crew that is going to be doing not only the eavesdrop so this is what you have so this is a type of uh gyp rock it's not really gyp rock so it's called uh dense glass apparently in el salvador okay but anyway it's waterproof and this is what they use uh when they install or they build type of um uh, the water whatever you know what do you call it the uh uh, the, 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 instead of using fascia, what we call it here, right? We, we tend to use aluminum. Well, they use this material over there. Okay. Um, so the gutter is going to be on the inside of that, uh, of that structure. Okay. And it's going to basically be hooked up to different pipes and uh, drained away, whatever rainwater comes through. But I'm pretty sure that we're going to see a lot more than that this is one of the carpenters the first carpenter crew who 
is now working on installing what you see right here, which is the um, uh, the wooden beams, okay, uh, on the ceiling, and this is going to be done all throughout the house, okay. Now these wooden beams are uh, the basically um, uh, wood boards, right? And by the way, we are using the very same type of wood, same type of wood for everything that we are going to do inside the house, okay? So the name of the wood is Cortez Blanco, okay? It's a type of wood very, very um, indigenous to, uh, to El Salvador, perhaps the Central American region, okay? Um, and Lynn really liked it. He, she really likes the, uh, how it looks natural, okay? So we're, we're going with it, and that's what we're doing. Okay, and that's what they're doing, working on the uh, on the uh, the beams. We also have a few doors uh, that have been uh, already built. Okay, and obviously one of the gentlemen there working on the last touches uh, for the paint job. Here you go. There you have it. So this is a portion of the uh, ceiling already installed with the uh, wooden beams. Okay. Actually, they're not really the they're not really beams. They're actually wooden boxes uh, because we, we we decided not to go with the uh, an actual whole beam wooden beam because that would have been a lot of weight on that roof. And even though that's uh, that is a uh, metal beam roof per se, we still didn't want to put that. You know, don't chance it and put that much weight on. So instead, we use one inch boards to make. Uh, you know, uh, this box which look like beams. Here you go. And I think the end result is going to look pretty good. So far, it's looking, I think, very nice. Okay. Now